Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. This is a collaboration video between myself, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B., and Lyle from No Hippie Barbecue, which I'll put in the I card above. You know, that'll be a link to his video. So he'll show you his method and what his tool, which is uh, his uh, tool of choice as far as uh, smoking, grilling, or whatever he's going to do to his ribs. And this video right here is just going to show what I did. You know what I mean? And just show you how easy it is to just, you know, put together a quality, you know, nice smoke ring uh, barbecue ribs. So really don't want to... Uh, Take up a whole lot of time. I'm, I'm eager to get right into it. You know, I've uh, been dying to put some ribs on this Rectech 680. So let's make it happen, y'all. Hey, Lyle, check it out. Different shirt. Can't say nothing about Riverside, but I'm going to rep it though, bro.
ribs out of the uh, Rectech. I'm settling in well using this Rectech 680 grill. You know what? I'm loving it. Now, now you saw what I did was I did two different types of wrap ups. I did one wrap up, you know, I did one in foil, which is the traditional way. I also added some root beer in there so that it would uh, steam, you know, tenderize that meat, get it nice and moist. And then the other, I went ahead and just did it in uh, butcher paper. You know what I mean? And uh, we're going to test both of them right now. I know you over there doing something slick, loud. You know what I mean? Uh, for everything I know about you, man, tell me, man, you, you moving and lurking in these waters like a big shark, bro. And I got it. You know what I mean? That's why I brought my A game. And here we go. So let's go ahead and start off with the, uh, the baby back. Here, let me just show it to you. There it is. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and taste it. Listen, that rub that I use, man. Listen, when I open it up, you know, broke the little seal off the top so you can like smell it. Smelled awesome. Got a little brown sugar in there, which complements the, uh, you know, my barbecue sauce. Uh, this right here is nice. Look, you can see, hope you guys can see. You can see that smoke, how it penetrated down to the bone. Man, this was, this is all right right here. I'm gonna go ahead and give me a second bite. Hey Mason, sorry about this bro. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, I'm gonna have to box something up and send it overnight to you, man. Hey Lyle, hey, check me out. Now look, I'm loving ribs like I'm loving them pork chops. Hey, bottom line is, you know what? Me and the pork man, we good. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this, look, one thumbs up already. It's gonna be hard to beat. A, B, and that Rectech. Woo! Here go that St. Louis. I can tell you right now, look at that. Oh, <laughs> look. What you got for me, Lyle? I know you, I know you got something, man. All I can do is smile. Let me go ahead and get a taste of this one, a bite of this one. Let's go ahead and just break it loose like that. Hey, listen. The texture is just right. Man, you can see the color in the meat. Oh yeah. Okay, let's talk about the two different methods that I use to like wrap up the ribs. Okay, the baby backs, those are the ones I did in the uh, butcher's paper. Now listen, butcher paper allows it to breathe a little bit so I got a little bit more air. Uh, not quite as moist as the St. Louis style, but listen, it's still good. Tear right up off the bone. Hmm, I'm sorry, y'all. That was my excuse to give me one more. You know, uh, the St. Louis style ribs, those were done in foil. You know what I mean? Poured a little root beer, uh, put them meat side down, you know, added a little uh, root beer to it, sealed it up, and then put both of them back into the uh, Rectech. Uh, bumped up the uh, temperature to 300 degrees and I set a timer for 20 minutes uh, but I did take a peek at them at about 10 minutes you know what I mean just to see where they at see how the uh, barbecue sauce was caramelizing on the top and uh, once I looked at it halfway through it I decided just to close it down and let's just go the whole full 20 minutes after the 20 minutes you seen the pictures you see how it came out you know what it came out flawless hey listen I got it Pellet grill controls your heat, puts you in the game. I mean, uh, for this day and age, you know what I mean? Uh, for like my lifestyle, I'm constantly doing something. You know what, that pellet grill is awesome. Uh, hey, Lyle, you know what? Go and check out Lyle at No Hippie Barbecue and see how he did his, see what type of tool he used. He could have used uh, one of several different things, but check him out. You know what, I wanna say, hey, thank you Lyle, you know, for doing another collaboration with me. You know what I mean? I'm always uh, looking to see what you're doing to elevate my game. You know what I mean? And uh, we go from there. All right. Outside of that, I just want to say, hey, thank you. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share the video. I'm out. Peace.